Hello and welcome Aquarians. Aquariuses? Aquarians. <laughs> <laughs> you are watching Thomas's Tower Readings with myself, Thomas Janak, and my guest this month has and is a, is, a, is a lady that has been here on this channel numerous times, old fox as they say in Germany. She's an old fox. Right? That's the you know, So it has nothing to do with, <laughs> with, with you, it's just a phrase, right? Alter Fox is what we say in Germany. Um, anyway, welcome back Jane. Hello. Welcome. And <laughs> old fox. <laughs> Now, again, it, it goes very different. Yeah. I got in trouble once. It was in Germany. <laughs> Only once. Yeah, no. But I'll just remember this one thing. In Germany, when you say I am experienced, I know my stuff, we go, I've been around the block. Yeah. Here, I was told by a lady, what the fuck are you insinuating? Yes. So I was like, whoa. Right? <laughs> so you live and learn. <laughs> yeah. So the point is, sometimes you, know, you say stuff that has a completely different meaning. And I just translate it from, from my things, right? <laughs> anyway, so what we do here, um, Aquarians, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen or love is coming in. And then lastly, look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of November. Now, the energy of November, even though you sort of come around more February kind of way when it comes to your birth, um, you are the 11th house, and the 11th house is the 11th month, and November is the 11th month. You are the sign that is the strongest in November, and it just so happens that November is the strongest month of the entire year when it comes to doing something new, kicking ass. Right? So there's a couple of months that are really important, 7, 9, and 11 are the most important numbers, so when you have 7, which is Libra, um, which is also then sort of July kind of energy, even though that's already uh, Leo. Point is, the number seven is about sevenfold protection, right? Protection and healing. The number nine is about putting things to rest. The number 11 is about, right, I'm going to be out there, I'm going to recharge uh, my batteries, I'm going to go out there and I be myself, but I claim what is mine. So that is just the energy, and you live in that energy. The issue that you have as a sign is that you have the name water, aqua, in your sign. So you also have a lot of water sign energy in you, if that makes sense, and yet you're an air sign. So the point is sometimes you can be a bit under the weather and a bit down because there is so many layers to you that do not get answers, uh, answers for uh, because water is not your energy, but it flows in your sign. Even the depiction of your sign is just two, two waves, right? So the point is, we believe that you choose to whom you're being born to where and when, so you chose to be a Aquarius, Aquarian, um, and you are therefore a sign that gives a lot without knowing when not to, if that makes sense, right? Because the water sign, by default, we are Pisceans, so the water signs, um, we need to recover longer, if that makes sense. When you're water sign, you're, you're quite soft, if that makes sense. So so we need to really step back sometimes. And if we don't, you universe takes us out for a bit, yeah. <laughs> right? But you are a person that is very giving. The sign that you have, Aquarius, is known as the water bearer. You are the sign of the giver. And it's just what I'm getting here. We're not even, you know, it's just how the guides are. It's just hijacking the overall energy here. It's just important for you to realize that it is in your strengths to at all times go with what you feel, if that makes sense, right? Okay, no idea where this came from, <laughs> right? Um, and now we're looking at the overall energy, even though this was probably part of it, right? That was the pre-overall energy Definitely for the month of, of November. Definitely was, because the first card is the ocean. Oh yeah. And you were talking yeah. about the water and yeah. everything, that thought you yeah. haven't seen. Yeah, I'm and I haven't, I haven't seen it. Over. How awesome. Yeah, yeah. love it. Um, you have the ocean and new partner. And the ocean for me, um, there's two two things with the ocean for me. One is about the healing. Mm -hmm. It's very, um, the ocean, the water, it's very healing for you. Um, and I do feel there's a little bit of healing um, that has been taking place and is still taking place for you, Aquarians. Um, you, you keep hold of things. It's like when things go on with you, it, it's like you hold on to them so tight instead of letting some things go. 
and the healing, the water, it's like they want to push it out of your system and out of your heart and out of your body. So um, take long baths, get the candles out, take some nice long baths, have some soap in the bath. If you can get by the sea, I know weather permit in November, but we do sometimes have decent days. Yeah. If you can get by the sea and take, take a, a stroll and a walk along the sea, very refreshing, very healing for you. It's like, let's let go of this energy now. Let's not carry it around anymore because you have new partner here. This can literally be a relationship as a new partner or somebody new that's coming in your life in some way that will be important in your life in one way or another. So it can be business, it can be work, it can be friendship and you need to be on top of your game for some reason. So let's get that little bit of healing done. Let's get rid of that energy that you no longer need ready for this next step to come in thank you so much and it goes straight into what i got i got the oh, time lovely. i got the number 27 two and seven is nine nine is the number of completion it's about letting go now the Please. energy that you have is the energy of pluto and pluto is about rebirth pluto is the only planet that doesn't spend the same amount of time in each of the signs because it has an erratic orbit and it takes pluto 248 years just to orbit the sun so Pluto is a planet, it's not a human. But in astrology, the depiction is that if and when Pluto approaches Earth, Pluto approaches Earth on his belly, because the, the, um, the orbit makes him sort of crouch, if that makes sense. Bottom line here is that Pluto, um, the energy of Pluto is known to all of us because it, he sits between 18 and 30 years in each sign. So no matter where he goes, everybody has felt Pluto. And Pluto is the sign of rebirth because he is a rebel. He doesn't give a shit what you tell him. He does what he wants. And it is important because it's an outer planet. And so is your governing planet, Uranus. Can't pronounce it. I always see people going, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Uranus, right? It's your governing planet. It's another outer planet that takes a long time to orbit the sun. The sun is what gives you strength. Pluto is very far away from the sun, so is Uranus. And sometimes when you're not in your strength, you stay there for way too long. Right? Really, really important for you to understand that. Here's another important thing that I get about Pluto because that is your energy when it comes to your emotional core. There's nothing you have to do that needs to be healed. There is just the energy of understanding yourself and what sort of needs to happen next. I'll give an example. There are people, right, who look at planets and then they kind of go like, ah, oh, Pluto can't, it's not strong enough to fix the debris. So now he's a he's a dwarf planet. Pluto has been for the longest time, uh, <laughs> you know, um, a really powerful planet. Do you think just because someone takes him off the list, Pluto is bothered? Pluto goes like that, whatever. Now the interesting thing is when you look at our Milky Way, right, and the planets that there's a thing where the how they travel is called the ecliptic, and Pluto is one of them. Now they have just removed Pluto since 2006 because he is a dwarf planet now. That means that, because it is your energy here, sometimes you feel I don't belong here anymore. They push me out. Now Pluto is in a place called the Kuiper Belt. And the Kuiper Belt is full of dwarf planets. And in the vicinity, vicinity of Pluto is five or are five dwarf planets. So if they don't want him, someone else embraces him. Which means if someone is saying, I don't want you anymore, good. Someone else will want me. Do not linger. Do not stay just because it is convenient or you're not sure where to go, what to do. You will always be appreciated by someone else. Really, really important. Which is where the rebirth comes from. It's understanding, once you understand that by default, because you are a person that is giving, once you understand that you also deserve this, you will then... Um, manifest people that want you to have a great life and they will support you. The point is no matter where you go, they will be support. I'm getting this energy here of, of I'm not sure if I'm in the right place and maybe I should move and maybe I should then leave this behind but it's all maybes. Mm -hmm. And all the universe is saying 
in the end, nobody can make decisions for you. That is the problem, and it's always been the way, because we have been given free will. <laughs> right? So you will not find someone. Uh, even in readings, when people come and say, what do you think? Um, if the guides feel that this is the way to go, they will say, the, 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 let's just say the move has already been manifested, which means they understand that would be a good thing. But the decision is still yours, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And the whole point here is that, you know, no matter what you decide, as long as you understand, you know, I make the decision, I stick with it, and something else will come along. Really, really important. The problem with this is that Aquarius, by default, you tend to be the giver. So you therefore also hold on because you feel they need more. That makes sense, right? So this is about understanding in order for you to get your rebirth, you have to then understand, you know, if I'm going to be reborn here, I'm not going to carry anybody else's shit. <laughs> and this is what I'm getting for you, is to be really focused on yourself so that answers that come your way can be actually understood. Okay? So that was um, the emotional core that we have for you. And now we're looking at opportunities. As the presenter says to you, in the month of November 2023, for the sign of Aquarius. Here we go. Lovely. We have the heart chakra, another beautiful card, yeah. and reward yourself. So um, on the first part, new partner, this may, may well be a, a relationship. Mm. So if it is a relationship, um, and it's what you want also as well, because it's also got to be what you want. Um, the feeling I get with this is not also what other people want. Some may say, you know, oh, I like that person, you should do. This yeah. has to be what you want Absolutely. and what's right for you. Um, so, you know, some of you may have been on your own for a while. Some of you for a short period of time. It doesn't matter the time in between. It's if it's the right thing for you to do and it's what you want to do. Be kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Um, if it's not right for you at the moment, say so. Mm. Be expressionate. This is all about you now. And the the opportunity that, that's coming up for you will be a lovely opportunity if you take it. Yeah. And what I'm getting here as well is you also may be in a relationship. But if you're in a relationship and then you feel, well, I had, I had these plans, but the person I'm with is a bit more, oh, I don't really want to change. Well, then you put yourself in limbo. Yeah. And... Again, it's never easy when it comes to relationships, right? Because it is always there's always so much that happens in a relationship that is so difficult to then sort of put right, right? So yeah. there's no way that we can protect ourselves from whatever the end of relationship brings. The point is, your job is to say to whoever you're with, but these are my plans, I've had them for years. I'm not gonna give up on them, right? Give and take. Yeah. But because you're the sign of the giver, that's the whole point here. You might think, going, okay, maybe one day they come around. Maybe not. See? So the point is if you prioritize yourself. Again, universe is simple. Universe is saying, well, if the person loves you, right, and you really want to do that, they will just leave everything and go with you. That's very Hollywoody. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> it certainly is. But what they're saying is it is possible that someone says, okay, fuck it, I'm in. Doesn't mean this person isn't out there, right? And it makes sense to the energy of Aquarius because there is this sounds a bit weird, but there is a very nomadic energy to Aquarius, which is also because you are by default an air sign, but you flow. Yeah. So there's always this. It is a conflict about you know I don't. And this is the other thing about about Aquarius. You don't ever want to hurt anybody. And it's not about hurting someone, but if it then means because you decide to, sounds a bit weird, to give in and stay longer, the person that gets a bit hurt uh, is you, yeah. if that makes sense, right? So point is, this is about relationships, if that makes sense, you know, at this point in time, this is the one topic that every human and every other sentient being struggle with, right? Because we came here to learn detachment. And what the universe is saying, you know, my guides are very in your face. I kind of like it about them. But they always say, oh, this one isn't working. Next. Yeah. And they kind of go like, it's not that easy. So they go, well, it's not working. Next. Because what the universe is saying to all of us, we only work in individual relationships. Because if someone else says something, tell them to F off. I don't really care what you say. I'm going to move. 
So they put it into a deep relationship so that you then learn to prioritize yourself right, and see what's what. It will always be in relation to other people, someone you really clearly have feelings for and love, that the lessons lie. Right? Um, and all the universe is saying, well, you know, you decided to come here. <laughs> right? So sometimes I notice that my guides, I don't know about your guides, but my guides sometimes feel they have no empathy. They're just going to, well, you know, you, you came here to do this. Yeah. Can't help you. Get on with it. You know? Yeah. And I do believe that they picked me by default because I have that these attributes inside me. I'm just a doer. Yeah. And I'm sure this has also caused some issues. <laughs> but yeah, understand the concept. I do believe that they pick whose energy represents them. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Point is, what I'm getting for you before we let you go is that no matter what you do, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. Right? There will always be something else for you that will fulfill you. But it's about time you set what you really, and it's the, maybe the wrong term, but I get this, that you really crave and do just that. Right? It's very interesting. Yeah. My guys sometimes say they, they um, speak to me in German phrases that I haven't heard in 30 years. And one is Las fünf Grade sein, which means let five be an even number. It just means, you know, even if there's a bit of issues here, fuck yeah. it, you're going to just level the planes and, and go anyway. Yeah. Right? Which is my, which is how they talk. I always find it funny when they all suddenly give me German sentences mm -hmm. that I hadn't heard in three decades. Very funny. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, I think that's all, that's all we got. Right? So, thank you so much for being here. Thank if you, you like my work, me. you're welcome. If you like my work, you can buy me a coffee because I love coffee. Um, I named my coffee machine the Orange Goddess because the machine is orange. So, point is, you need to feed the machine. So, if you like my work, you can buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas. Again, if you want, uh, this is, a, this is a, a general reading. If you want a personal reading with Jane or myself, the information is in the description box below. Okay? All that said, have a lovely November <laughs> and um, see you hopefully next month. Bye-bye.